what is going on guys, it's your boy Sister here, bringing this cool little Photoshop tutorial, bringing this cool little nice little simplistic banner design here today, again, I know you guys really love when I do simplistic banner designs, or header designs, or just, you know, advertisement designs, whatever you want to use this kind of like video for, I, I know you guys love it, so I'm actually come up with this little one, it's actually one of my favorite ones I've done so far, possibly because it's, like, it just looks... It just looks so nice. I don't know what it is. It's just like this cool little black background with these nice little three, you know, colors of, you know, whatever your choice is. I just, I just love blue, purple, and green. Um, so I just love the color scheme here. Uh, I will actually be using the same exact color scheme for the tutorial pur uh, purposes. So I will be having a color palette to use just in case you want to use the same color I'm using as well. You can just copy the hex code down. Anyway, you see what I have here. It's very nice and simple. It's kind of it's just basically using the pen tool and it's messing out with some, you know, simple highlights and then just overall just changing like your layer style to something different to actually get this cool little, you know, white highlight which looks it just complements it so much. And of course, I always do the like my little signature border thing with some color and nice little simple text which is this Nexa bold, I believe or ne ne yeah, Nexa, right? Nexa bold and light that I use for the fonts. If you guys want to know that. Also, I came out with another revamp pack on my uh, selfie.com slash switch I know you guys love, you know, getting your social media revamp so of course I came with a new tier uh, revamp pack which is actually eight dollars you can purchase it down below right now it comes with a YouTube banner uh, Twitter header universal avatar uh, newly added requested twitch panels and an overlay with and without the camera so this is fully edible customize the color the text whatever you want to customize you can get rid of things it's all you know beautifully uh, you know marked as a name you can so it's really easy to navigate through so I hope you guys enjoy that as well I know you guys love it you know just messing around with you know freaking uh, pre-made so I did that for you guys as well um all oh, right cool like pretty much we're ready to start. Uh, let's just get ahead and go over the video. All right, cool. So we're gonna be starting off with a black banner this time for the example. So we're gonna go ahead. The black banner or the black that I'm using, the hex code is actually zero D zero D zero D. It's not like a solid black. I think you know solid black just it looks really distorted. I'm not sure if that's like a thing of me or if you guys understand the same thing. I never use solid black. So this one I'm gonna be using is zero D zero D zero D. Press OK. And of course, the quick fillets is on my back and color, not my fork and color. It should be controlled uh, backspace, but I already have it set. So, ready to start. All right, cool. We're gonna make a new layer. And like I said, what I'm using really is a pen tool here. So the hardest part of this video is probably gonna be this first part, just because you gotta figure out what looks really nice and what doesn't. You know, really, right here. I'm talking about this. Where am I gonna like do the blue, like little like little shape? Where am I gonna do the green? Where am I gonna do the purple? That all depends on what you guys are gonna do. The better you do it, uh, the cooler it looks, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start for. Start up here a little bit, <clears throat> and we'll just go with this. And we're just gonna try to like I'm just gonna like replicate what I did before. Um, there we go. Just a nice, a nice little simple like little left like little shape thing on the left side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and complete this around. Just go around. By the way, if you guys saw what I did, if I when I clicked again, it like didn't show that I was starting at the same point. Just uh, if you guys are new to pen tool, just control uh, control click on the uh, little line here. This will bring up the points and press Alt. And then just click where you want to start again and double click it, I mean. And then you should be able to click around. There we go. And with this new layer set, fill path. And we'll drop down use color. And we're going to be using a different blue. We're going to be using the, like, the color palette that I have here. So I'm going to actually select this. And the hex code for this is, when I go to fill path color, the hex code for this is 51B6DD. That's the blue that I'm using. So I'm going to press OK. Press OK again. And I'm going to right click delete path. And pretty much here, I'm going to make another new layer. And something new I actually found out, if you hold Alt and actually select like the bottom of the thumbnail and like the new layer to like Clip Mask, I'm going to Clip Mask my next layer to my bottom layer, which is basically going to allow me to put anything in this layer and only show up in this layer. So to right click Clip Mask, you can do that, or you can press Alt, a new shortcut that I just somehow figured out. And if you just like right click or left click, excuse me, right below the uh, thumbnail, it should Clip Mask it. It's pretty cool. I like it. But... The reason why I'm making this is because we're gonna make a nice little highlight for this blue. So pretty much, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna pretty much uh, go ahead and just pick a nice little highlight. I don't know, something like that. That looks very awkward. I'll fix this. I'm gonna press A this time. Bring up my points. Actually, just pre uh, press P. Bring up my points. Control. And I'm just gonna move this around. What am I gonna do? Something like that. That'll work. That's just fine for sure. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna make you do the highlights as soon as you do this, the first you know color you know uh, shape here, is because when I press right click fill path, drop down use color. The color that I'm gonna be using is just a lighter tone color of the blue or the purple, whatever color you chose uh, to start off with. So I'm just basically gonna move this a little bit up to the left, uh, just top left of where I'm gonna be going every single time when I'm choosing a different color, just to make a nice little lighter, uh, more of like a white fade kind of, and press OK. Press OK again. It should fill with this nice little blue now as well. So we have a nice little highlight starting off with that. So <coughs> I'm going to make another new layer. 
And just because we're just going to name this or group this together with control clicking and pressing control G to group it. And we're going to call this our blue. This will be our green that will start off right here. And pretty much I'm going to try to do the same thing. I did something like this and I like did something like that. That's something like what I did. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty okay. All right, sure. I'm just going to click around just like so. And I'm going to fill this in with the green that I want to use. And the green hex code for this is actually A1C436. So that's what I'm going to be using for the green. And I'm going to go ahead on this new layer, right click, fill path, drop down, use color. Uh, we're going to use this green. Press OK. Press OK again. And we're actually going to bring this below the blue, I think. That'll look better, right? Yes, I agree. Um, I, mean, could I, I could have done a better curve here. I'm probably going to fix that just because I know I could have done a better curve there. So press much control, click on this point. Something like this, maybe. Dramatic. I like that better. All right, cool. Right click, fill path, and use the same green. There we go. Drop this below the blue, and pretty much for the highlight, I'm going to do the same exact thing and make a new layer. I'm actually going to hold Alt, clip, mask it, just like so. And then pretty much we're going to make a nice little highlight. Something like this ish, right? Maybe. And there we go. Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Pretty much right click. Oop. Make this go all the way around. Uh, right click, fill path, the drop down use color, and like I said, we're just going to go top left, just like so, to get a lighter tone of the color, press OK twice, and we're ready to go with that. So, we'll group this together, call this green, <coughs> and pretty much going to make another new layer, and we're going to go ahead and select this purple now, and we should be set with the colored palette, we'll just get rid of that, and pretty much we're going to go ahead and make another pen tool shape, um, what should I do this time, something like that, I think it looks good, just a little nice little tone of purple right there in the middle. Uh, right click, fill path, drop down use color. This nice purple that I'm using is actually C751DC. Uh, press OK, press OK again. And this is my color I'm going to be using. And I'm going to do it again. So I'll make a new layer. Or you can press Control Shift N, by the way, for the shortcut. And pretty much just click over here, click and mask it. And then for the highlight, we'll do something like that. Sure. Go around. Right click, fill path, drop down use color. It's a nice little, it's got a written repeat kind of thing, but it's it comes out really nice. So, of course, top left, make a nice little lighter color of that color. Press OK. And boom. Now we have the kind of like the cool little trifecta of colors using right here. And we're going to go ahead and just call this uh, color tutorial shirt. We'll just banner. And then pretty much I'm going to make this bold. Boom. And we'll make this white for the text for now. That's cool. All right, cool. We'll just lower the uh, size. All right, cool. So I have my text here just to complement it right now. Um, like I said, this is a very simple, simple thing to do. Now, the, for the last thing I'm actually going to do really quickly is I'm going to show you guys how to get this like nice little white tone, like some of this like, white complement thing I have here in the bottom right here, as well as the uh, colors. So pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group this all together. Uh, I call this purple. Alright, so I'm going to group all the colors together with Control G. So when I select all the layers, and I'm just going to call this, you know, the colors in the bottom or whatever. And I'm just going to duplicate it just so I can make a nice little copy of it, so I can make a backup. So Control J. And we're just going to basically merge this together. And I'm actually going to do it twice because we need this twice. We're going to merge that together. Uh, There's the second one, the second copy, or the third copy that you made or whatever. And we're going to pretty much go to Filter liquefied now you can be here forever as well to get this like the nice little soup that I got it's like I really I just basically like try to swoop it like this and uh, and this cool but I don't know. um no oh lord I can be here for literally like years try, trying to get this like a nice little swoop um I'll just back this out uh Something like that. I don't know. Just a nice little soup. Just like it. Just I want to make sure it looks like you know, just a nice little distortion looking. It looks okay. I, we'll just go over that for now. Uh, the brush size that I'm using is 400. The brush density that I'm using is 100, and I am using the first tool, which is the uh, the forward wrap tool. Press OK, and pretty much I just got this. It looks uh, it looks all right, but you know I can I can take longer on it. I just don't want to take too much of your time. But pretty much when you get the the nice little shape that you want, or like a nice little swoop. Or whatever you're doing, if you just change this layer style from normal to divide, it'll turn white. It looks really nice, just like that. And I'm just gonna lower my passage down to maybe like 35 or so. All right, maybe a little bit more, 45. That looks pretty good. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just trying to like, I'm gonna try to erase this part. Actually, we'll just because I don't like how it's all the way around like that. 
like how the green is like taken away. We'll do something like this. Yeah, and then we're just gonna delete that little bit. So we're gonna make it a selection, and we're just gonna delete that little bit of color like right here. I don't want it to cover the entire green. I want to see this green as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, you know, for tutorial's sake, I did. I just did a fast one. But you can see what I'm trying to go for here. And then pretty much to start ending this off, we're gonna just make a new layer. I uh, press B on our keyboard, which is our brush shortcut. And if you guys already have a short brush, or if you guys don't have my 40k brush pack, I would really prefer you to do that. Or my actual my my five dollar brush pack, which is also amazing. This is actually my brush, uh, my five dollar brush pack on my selfie.com. So such a few store. Um, so you can see all the ones I have here. I'm just gonna be using a soft brush really quickly. And pretty much I'm gonna change my focal color to white. And I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and Control Alt and right click and move my mouse left and right to change my diameter. I want to make it bigger. So I'm gonna move it to the right. And I'll say about maybe a thousand or so. And then pretty much it's gonna click one time on the top, just like so. I'm just gonna lower my opacity down maybe like 70%, maybe a little bit more, 45. We'll go with that for now. And then to end this off completely, we're gonna make another new layer. And we're gonna use M on our keyboard, which is the rectangle marquee tool. And we're gonna click and drag from top left to the bottom right. Just to select the entire canvas, whatever your whatever canvas you're in, even if you're in like a uh, 1280 by 720 or whatever. Just you know, select the entire canvas, which is with the rectangle marquee tool. And then pretty much go to select modify border and I encourage you to have the black still set as your uh, your background color so you can just press OK and then so select a nice little border I have a two pixel border that's what I had and if I press control backspace it should quick fill the black that I have in or if you wanted to beforehand you can just change your foreground color to black uh, and then just press alt backspace but either way just have black as the uh, fill in so you can also just right click fill with black um, control D to deselect you see this little black outline here now following along if I just uncheck and check you see a nice little black outline I think it looks really good but black outline I would say prefer to use black outline and we're gonna make a, a new layer and we're gonna clip mask it to it so you can either just right click clip mask or alt click on the bottom of the thumbnail and clip mask it like that and we're gonna use our brush and we're just gonna lower our brush size this time so I'm gonna press control alt right click and move to the left this time and then to select a different color I'm just gonna hold alt when you have your brush selected when you have your brush like tool on hold alt and click the color that you want to use, which is whatever color you guys use for the bottom part. And we're just going to click, and we're going to go ahead and just click like so. And we're going to select some of the colors just like this. And just put it around. That way it looks nice and cool. And it just gives off a nice little tone for the banner. And I think it looks really nice. And of course, any other additional information that you want to use, you just put as a nice little subtext on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just be like, uh, check out selfie.com slash the sweet HQ. Boom. Make it nice and small looking. There we go. I think it looks really freaking nice. I will not lie to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really encourage you guys to try this out. It looks really freaking fun. I know you can do anything with this as well, which is like mess uh, messing around with like the uh, the shapes that you want to use. Uh, overall, just me showing you guys how to use like simple blacks and just the simple colors to make a nice little banner design. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below. And do not forget about the revamp pack that actually uh, that also came out as well. Like I said, it's eight dollars and it comes with all this crazy stuff that you see right here. And it's just like simple enough. You just press buy and you're good to go. So, anyways, thank you guys so much again. Switch you out. Peace.